Ukrainian drones crash Russia's oil industry, Russians are in a desperate situation. With each passing day, the intensity and frequency of Ukrainian drone attacks against Russian oil refineries increases. Since the beginning of this year, 2024 alone, more than 10 major oil refineries and depots have been damaged, some of them enduring multiple strikes. The main goal of these attacks is to reduce the capability of the military as fuel from Russian oil refineries is transported to Ukraine where it powers hostile tanks, infantry fighting vehicles and aircraft. According to Ekonomichna Pravda, it is highly likely that mysterious drones will continue to attack Russia's oil infrastructure in the future, causing further destruction and damage to the aggressor. Russia has about 30 large oil refineries and dozens of small ones. The aggressor country produces more than 530 million tons of oil per year, about 280 million tons of which are processed at domestic facilities. Since the beginning of 2024 alone, dozens of Russian refineries and oil depots have been attacked by drones. In some places, they struck fuel tanks and in other cases, the refineries were shut down for several months due to the destruction, says the source in the Ukrainian parliament. Large-scale attacks on Russian oil refineries began in 2023. In May, drones attacked the Ilsky oil refinery in Krasnodar Krai and the Afipsky oil refinery in Kuban Oblast, and in July, an explosive device detonated at the Kwibyshev oil refinery in the city of Samara. Fuel shortage facilities were also frequently targeted. Since the beginning of 2024, the intensity of attacks on Russian oil refineries has increased. Damage was reported at refineries and oil depots in the Yaroslavl Oriol, Volgograd, Twapse, Klintsi, Ust-Luga, Ryazan, Bryansk, Belgorod, Rostov, Nizhny Novgorod and Leningrad Oblasts and the city of St. Petersburg. The first objective of the attacks on Russian oil refining infrastructure is strategic in nature. Russian oil refineries are a legitimate target of the security service of Ukraine and defense intelligence of Ukraine, says a source in Ukraine's defense and security forces. Attacks target military facilities or those contributing to Russia's defense, such as ones that supply fuel to Russian military equipment, tanks, infantry fighting vehicles and aircraft that fire missiles at Ukrainians. The second objective is economic. The oil refineries not only provide fuel for Russian troops, but are also a key source of income for the nation, which has at times been described as a gas station masquerading as a country. Russia uses the money from oil and gas sales to fight and kill Ukrainians, said an Ekonomichna Pravda source in one of the defense departments. Russian special group mysteriously disappears in Belgorod. It might have sided with the rebels. A special Rosgvardia group has mysteriously disappeared near the town of Graveron in Belgorod region where fierce fighting is taking place. This was reported by the Russian telegram channel of Kremlin Snuffbox, citing its sources Ukrainian dialogue media outlet reported. The resource noted that Moscow publishes very little information about the fighting in the Belgorod region as it spoils the background of the re-election of Russian dictator Putin. However, very heavy fighting is going on there. Some information does not get out and it is, alas, not always positive. On March the 18th, a group of Roskvadia special forces suddenly stopped communicating near the town of Graveron in the Belgorod region. There were five servicemen in the group who had moved to the forward positions by car, the Telegram channel reported. It specified that the car was soon found blown up near Graveron. There were no traces of the military at the site, including no body fragments. Sources in the general staff hinted that there might have been treachery and switching to the enemy's side, the Russian resource specified. Fighting in the border areas of Russia's Belgorod and Kursk regions began on the night of March the 12th. Russian Volunteer Corps, Freedom to Russia Legion, Siberian Battalion and others fighting on the side of Ukraine broke the border and entered the territory of the Russian Federation. Several settlements on the border have been taken under their control. Ukraine's military intelligence spokesman Andriy Yusov said the militias are comprised of Russian citizens who are part of Ukraine's defense and security forces, but stressed that their incursions into Russia are not taking place under Kyiv's orders. On the territory of the Russian Federation, they act absolutely autonomously on their own. 
and pursue their social and political program tasks, Yusov told the media. Kirill Budinov, the military intelligence chief, said that anti-Kremlin militias had been helping Ukraine from the very beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion and Ukrainian forces would try to support them as well to the extent possible. Despite Moscow's confident announcement of fending off the incursions, fighting in the border regions only grew.